Okay, I'm fixing to show you a video of my uh, little document scanner here, and by the time I get started good, he'll probably knock on the door saying, We're through, I need my pay. But anyway, you can hear the welder out there. <clears throat> anyway, to show you, this is it, and I'm going to take this out. See this little, uh, this is a two gigabyte memory card. It just slips right back there in that hole. Let me push it in right quick. Anyway, you push it in all the way. And this takes care of uh, even those little bitty pictures, you know, little bitty miniature pictures, like one by two or something like that. It'll feed right in through here or it'll take all the way up to eight by tens. But uh, it'll scan black and whites, color. Uh, it'll scan documents up to eight by tens. Same way with pictures. <clears throat> and I like to use it this way because I can, I could set it to TV and do it. But the problem is you can't put it in your lap because it has to be on a, a level surface. So that means I have to put it on my footstool, which is. A shower chair really and that I, get, I tend to get carried away and I'll sit there for hours on end scanning pictures and forget about the time then I end up with feet the size of balloons so this method here <clears throat> at the table is better but um, I just scan a few every time I walk by but this uh, is called a pan digital photo document scanner and it comes with a cord there uh, that you can hook up to your computer and import the picture straight into there but this this method here is just too easy with a memory card so I just poop with it but anyway I'll show you how long it is <clears throat> excuse me it is ten and a half inches long <coughs> So let me get started. I swear, I've got something in my dang throat all the time. Okay, let's get started scanning some pictures here. Oh, I see you got to turn it on first. Now, this uh, if you turn it on to the, hold it down until it turns green, that's the smaller size pictures. But if you want them gigantic, where it's bigger resolution, you go into level orange. Let's see. How's that go? You just hold it down till it turns level orange, I think. Oh, well. Well, we'll figure that out later. But anyway, it does do normal size pictures, which are huge on your computer, but you can do uh, bigger ones. But we're going to do it on normal size. Okay, the lights quit blinking. So, you just feed this in there, and there we go. I'm trying to keep these separated as I go, like all of Jason's pictures with his fishing, you know, where we went fishing and all that stuff, but I don't know how long that's going to last, because I've probably got about a thousand pictures in this sack. Okay, here's another picture. And it takes about six seconds for each picture because you have to wait till that thing quits blinking. Okay, now we're going to do an a, a 8 by 10 here. <clears throat> See how that works. I've never, I, I believe I've done an 8 by 10, but I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, if a picture is real thin and dilapidated, it also comes with a little sleeve that you could a clear sleeve you can slip it through to protect it and help feed it through without tearing it up now there we go with an 8 by 10 now, ain't that dandy okay now here's an old picture of my grandma and grandpa on their 50th wedding anniversary so I'm gonna see how it does here we go And see, I'm going to give all these originals to my kid and just be done with it. Oh, 
Okay, and and this uh, memory card will hold a crap load of pictures. But see, what took me so long was I labeled every single one of these because there's no point in giving him any pictures if he doesn't know who they are. You know, everybody in them, so every one of them's labeled. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh, I believe I had some trouble with this one a while ago because it's a little bit crooked on the corner. I'll, I'll show you how that screws up. I'm sure it will. See? See, it won't go through. So I'm just going to pull it back out. And you notice that corner is a little bit bent. So I'm going to try it this way. See if it works. Because it doesn't really matter. I mean, I, I try to put them in right side up. But if you have to put them in upside down, you can always use that rotate feature on the computer and flip them around. You know, it doesn't make a big crap a lot of difference. Okay. And here's yours truly. Big mama. Okay. I even labeled my own pictures. Just in case he gets Alzheimer someday. And there's my sweet baby boy. Is he not beautiful? I love that boy. There we go. So, okay, let's just pretend like I've uh, scanned all these pictures and I'm through. Um, I don't have a piece of paper handy that I can scan, but anyway, it works on documents too. But anyway, what you do is you just, when you're through, is you just turn that off, punch that button, turn it off, take out that little memory stick memory card thing right there and go pop it in your computer I happen to have one of the little slots that that'll fit in and just transfer all those pictures into your computer or burn them onto a CD or whatever you want to do what I plan to do is after I get all these pictures uh, scanned I'm going to keep them on my computer all right, but I'm also going to transfer them to a, a CD or something and go put it in my bank box in case my house burns down or something. I won't lose my pictures because I, I can lose everything else uh, except puss, of course, but I don't want to lose my pictures. Hey, dig that. See that pepper thing right here? Don't look at my house. I use so much pepper in the cafes that I'm embarrassed because sometimes I flat empty their pepper shaker. I just love that black pepper. So I carry my own so I can use whatever I want and not feel bad about it. I'm so anal. Every time I buy something, just a minute, I gotta get me a puff. Like, like I need it. Um, every time I buy something, I, I'm a Ziploc freak. I cannot do without my Ziplocs, or I, I go into panic mode if I run out. Me and that sister out there where you live, we have that same problem. But anyway, uh, I have to put everything I buy in its own little Ziploc with the instructions and label it and the, all that stuff so I know exactly where everything is. I did my flash drive that way, my, this camera I'm using, uh, my fax machine, everything. I've got everything in Ziploc bags and labeled. And my kid got me some Ziploc bags for Christmas, and they are gigantic. They're as big as my butt, honest to Pete. They'd probably hold, uh, oh, I don't know, about like maybe four gallons. Seriously, they're huge. And I love them, but I can't get any around here. I have to get him, get him to bring them to me. Well, better get off of here. I was just showing you my dandy little scanner here. It's just cute as a bug, ain't it? Cute as a little old bug. And then got all my pictures in here. And I might have one more little sack full in the Mama's Hope chest thing in there, but I'm not sure. But then that ought to be the end of it uh, I might have some of mama's award 8 by 10s from her old job but um, anyway that's probably going to be all of it but anywho that's all I was going to tell you 
Okay, bye-bye.